Ladies and gentlemen, it's my distinct pleasure to present to you the president of the Hyatt Foundation, Mr. Thomas Pritzker. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Minister, Mr. Ambassador, members of the Pritzker jury, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good evening and welcome. In the Aeneid, Virgil presents the ordeals of Annas as he flees the destruction of Troy on the way to establish Rome. Story, stormy seas take him to Carthage where he meets the majestic queen Dido. Waiting for her to appear in the temple, he sees a bas-relief on which tra the tragedy of the Trojan Wars is portrayed. In the immortal words of Virgil, he cries out, there are tears in things of stone. The bas-relief of the destruction of Troy is so lifelike that one sees tears in the things of stone. Yesterday, the jury of the Pritzker Architecture Prize visited and paid our respects to the Cathedral of Notre Dame de Paris. We cannot be here tonight without paying our respects to Notre Dame. As we plan to celebrate the Pritzker Architecture Prize the sit in this city of great architecture, we, like millions around the world, were grief-stricken by what we saw at Notre Dame. And we invoked Virgil. There are tears in things of stone. We wish that it was not so. The reality is that the fire and disaster at the cathedral is and must be the context in which tonight's celebration of architects and architecture at Versailles Palace is commemorated. Lord Kenneth Clark, a member of the first Pritzker Architecture Prize jury, was cited after the fire. What is civilization, asked Kenneth Clark 50 years ago in his famous BBC series on the subject. I don't know, he said, and I can't define it in abstract terms, but I think I can recognize it when I see it, and I'm looking at it now and he turned to, the ge to gesture behind him at the soaring Gothic towers and flying buttress of Notre Dame. Mr. Minister, for civilization, please get Notre Dame rebuilt for all of us, for Paris, for France, for all of civilization. No other art form is as fundamental to civilization as is architecture. At the most basic level, architecture is shelter. The purpose of the Pritzker Prize is to demonstrate how architecture is so much more than shelter, and in fact, it's fundamental to civilization. The loss of Notre Dame speaks forcefully to the same point. Sometimes it's only in the absence of a friend or a loved one that we humans can appreciate what's important to us. At its most sublime, architecture lends visual and palpable expression to the noblest of human aspirations. Architecture defies and describes the space in which it defines and describes the space in which we live. It's what we see as we move about in our great cities and villages Architecture presents and determines the basic sculpt, uh, culture of every civ civilization. Quite simply, it is our context. The destruction wrought by the fire at the cathedral, sadly and ironically, presents an opportunity to appreciate what we have in our 2019 Pritzker laureate, Arata Isosaki. He was born on the island of Kyosho in Japan in 1931. Isosaki was 14 years old when Hiroshima and Nagasaki were destroyed. He recalls in his words, when I was old enough to begin an understanding of the world, my hometown was burned down. Across the shore, the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, so I grew up near ground zero. 
it was, it was in complete ruin and there was no architecture, no buildings, and not even a city. My first experience of architecture was the void of architecture. And I began to consider how people might rebuild their homes and their cities. Isosaki responded to the absence of architecture with a voracious appetite for buildings. He found a life's passion in filling the void. Isosaki rose to, this, to the summons of history. He saw not just an empty space, but a destroyed space. He began to consider the variety of forms and styles that could fill this void that was created by such destruction. Like a great student of great masters, he experimented with different styles. His style became change itself. Isosaki is multilingual in architecture. He speaks many different languages. This hybrid style forged new paths in architecture, each shaped by, the, by his surrounding environment. His career charts the changes in architecture over many, many decades. He is both an adapter and an originator. He is an architect whose appetite for architecture is never satisfied. In his eclectic hybrid style, he in internationalized architecture. As one of Isosaki's students put it, he doesn't have a signature style like some other architects whose buildings have a similar look. It was always his approach to do something specific on the site. No two of his buildings look alike. His Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles is a very Los Angeles piece. His Shanghai Symphony Hall Center sits like an outsized saddle in the surrounding Chinese metropolis. His Olympic Arena in Barcelona fits Barcelona. It's a massive structure that has played host to some of the world's greatest athletes and celebrities in the past quarter century. At a time of significant global uncertainty, Isosaki's agility with different styles of architecture, the strength of his resilience in the face of destroyed cities, his very goodness present to us a model of how we as a global civilization can move forward. With his resilience and agility, he never lost sight of the critical values that have informed his work for decades. This is truly a case of architecture serving an inspiring model for leaders in our time. Facing the city destroyed, Isosaki heard the summons, build and build and keep building. The destruction of the cathedral at Notre Dame summons all of those who appreciate architecture and civilization to build and rebuild. I cannot imagine a better symbol of resilience than our 2019 Pritzker Laureate. It's not only his architecture that's deserving of the prize, it's also his spirit that is deserving of the prize. Arati Sosaki, please can I ask you to come forward? It's a great pleasure for me to award you the Pritzker Architectural Prize for 2019.